Sutra. But if they encounter good and wise advisors who exhort them and lead them to quickly take refuge with a star bodhisattva, then those beings will just as quickly be released from their retributions in the three evil paths. If those beings are determined and respectful, if they behold, bow to, and praise the Bodhisattva, and if they make offerings of flowers, incense, clothing, jewels, food, and drink to him, they will enjoy supremely wonderful bliss in the heavens for millions and billions of ends. When their blessings in the heavens end, and they are born as people, throughout hundreds of thousands of ends, they will have the potential to be national leaders, able to remember all aspects of causes and effects from previous lives. O oh, Samadhi Self Mastery King, Earth Stobody Sattva has such inconceivably great awesome spiritual power that he uses it expansively for the benefit of beings. All of your bodhisattvas should remember this sutra and proclaim and spread it far and wide. Samadhi Self Mastery King Bodhisattva said to the Buddha, World honored one, please do not be concerned with thousands of billions of Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas, based on the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength. We will certainly proclaim this sutra widely throughout Jambudvipa for the benefit of beings. Having spoken thus to the world honored one, Samadhi Self Mastery King Bodhisattva put his palms together respectfully bowed and withdrew. Commentary But if, perhaps, and perhaps not, now let us hypothetically assume that they encounter good and wise advisors. What is good and wise advisor? Someone who knows things by their name and by their looks. Good can be also mean capable. He knows and recognizes things. What things? He knows about the miserable afflictions of this triple realm and that the triple realm is not peaceful, just like a house on fire. There are three kinds of good and wise advisors. The first kind is good and wise advisors who protect the drama externally. This kind of good and wise advisor helps to take care of everything. What do monastic, uh, monastics need? They will protect and support the triple jewel and the monastery, the monastic residence. They provide everything that monastics need. These are good and wise advisor who protect externally. The second kind is companion good and wise advisors. They are companions in that they cultivate with us and encourage us. Well, how do they encourage one another? They beat up their fellow candidates. You help me look for my problems, and I help you look for your problems. Since people do not know their own phones, whereas other people will detect all for our phones easily. As it is said, those who are in the game do not see clearly. We cannot tell what is right or wrong in our own role. Those are those who are bystanders see clearly. Those on the sidelines can tell my phones and I can see your phones. This is called beating up on your fellow cultivators. Though so this is not about seeing others' phones and getting angry or you getting angry because you, I tell you your phones. Instead of getting angry, study our errors which turn the situation into encouragements and exhortations so that we may strive forward diligently, bullishing and jostling each other. The Great Learning says, It is like cutting and jostling. It is like polishing and grinding. Stone nations cut and jostle, polish and grind jade so that it becomes beautiful. Two fellow cultivators beat up in this way, looking for each other's phones. People who really want to cultivate must be companion good and wise advisors in this way. There is also the third kind, the teaching good and wise advisor. Good and wise advisors who lecture on the sutras and speak the Dharma. 
propagate the Dharma and teach living beings. These are all good and wise advisors who teach, who exhort them and lead them to quickly take refuge with a stone bodhisattva. As quickly as a finger snap, a very short duration, or a wink of an eye, which lasts about 20 thoughts. 20 wings are one shana, the prana sutra of the human king, who protects the country, says that there are 900 births and deaths in one shana, in one kashana. In other words, in one kashana, 900 thoughts come and go. 64 kashanas exist in a matter of a finger snap. Here, a finger snap merely means a very short time. There are two interpretations for exhorting and leading them quickly. One that they will believe in and take refuge with a store bodhisattva in a short, in as sh a short duration as a finger snap, then go up to the heavens and attain eternal bliss. Two, after receiving advice from good and wise advisors, they believe in as short a time as a finger snap and develop the faith to take refuge with a store bodhisattva. Taking refuge is a form of respect in that we hand over our body, mind, and life to Earth Store Bodhisattva. Earth Store Bodhisattva is our compassionate father, and we are like his children. Then those beings will just as quickly, in as short a time as a snap of a finger, be released from their retributions for infinity in the three evil paths. If those beings are determined and respectful, they are furthermore concentrated and sincere if they behold, bow to and praise the Bodhisattva. And if they make offerings of flowers, incense, clothing, treasures, jewels, food and drink to him, consequently this is the reason why monastics should make offerings of food to the Buddha first before we eat. We will enjoy supremely wonderful bliss in the heavens for millions of billions of ants. Those who make offerings of incense, flowers, food, clothing, and various gems to earth store bodhisattva, as described above, will always go up to the heavens for as long a time as millions of billions of ants throughout the future. When their blessings in the heavens and and they are born as people throughout hundreds of thousands of ants, they will have the potential to be national leaders, able to remember all aspects of causes and effects from previous lives. They recall what they did in their lives past and what occurred in their past lives. O oh, Samadhi Self Mastery King, Earth Star Bodhisattva has such inconceivably and ineffably great awesome spiritual power that he uses it expansively for the benefit of beings. All of your Bodhisattvas should remember this sutra, the Earth Star Sutra, and proclaim and spread it far and wide. All of you should voluntarily circulate this Earth Star Sutra. The fact that we can hear the name of the Star Sutra and hear an explanation on the Earth Stop Sutra is based on the power of all the Bodhisattvas who vastly proclaim and circulate this Sutra. If it were not for the Bodhisattvas who proclaim and circulate this Sutra from behind the scenes, we may not be able to encounter such a profound Dharma treasure. Samadhi Self Mastery King Bodhisattva said to the Buddha, Wound Honored One, Please do not be concerned. No need to worry about any of these problems. We thousands of billions of bodhisattvas, masattvas, based on the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength, will certainly proclaim this sutra widely throughout the southern Jambuvipa for the benefit of beings. Having spoken thus to the world honored one, Samadhi Self Mastery King Bodhisattva put his palms together respectfully bowed to Shakyamuni Buddha and withdrew to sit down on the side. Sutra, at that time, the four heavenly kings rose from their seats, 
put their palms together respectfully and said to the Buddha, World honored one, a star Bodhisattva has been making such great vows from this denarian's past until now. Why is it that even now he has not yet finished taking beings across? Why does he continue to renew his vast and mighty vows? Please, world honored one, explain that for us. Commentary of that time. When Samadhi self-mastery King Bodhisattva respectfully bowed, withdrew to sit down on the side, the four heavenly kings who live halfway up Mount Sumeru, surrounded by the seven gems of gold, silver, lapis lazuli, crystal, carnelian, red pearls, and agate. The city built with these seven gems is 42,000 Jordan nets tall, surrounded by seven rows of trees, seven layers of nets, and seven rows of fences in an adorned fashion. The four heavenly kings are the heavenly king of the east, the heavenly king of the south, the heavenly king of the north, the heavenly king of the west. The heavenly king of the east named Dutra, which means the heavenly king who guards nations. He protects all beings and nations. He has 99 sons all named Indras. Some of the ghosts and spirits that he leads are fragrant spirits, while some are adore ghosts. Who are the fragrant spirits? They are the Gandavas among the Eightfold Division of Ghosts and Spirits. On his head is a horn. He runs towards any place where there is some nice sand because he enjoys fragrances. The Jet Emperor is King Indra who burns a type of Chardana incense so that when Gandavas arrive, the Jet Emperor will order him to make music. Since the Jet Emperor is still in the six design heavens and not yet left the state of the five sense objects, so he makes Gandava play music for him. These music spirits of the Jet Emperor are also fragrant spirits. The heavenly king who opposes nations also list all the ghosts that have a stench about them. They are called Bhutanas, who are also in the Sura Gamma Mantra. His capability or spiritual power is to release a stench so that he smells it wherever he is. The Southern Heavenly King's Sanskrit name is Vidaka, which means growth. He makes living beings good roots grow. He also has 99 sons, all named Indras. Each of these four great heavenly kings has 99 sons, all of whom are named Indras. All 396 of them are by the same name. Heavenly King Growth of the South also command most gods and spirits among which there is a type called distant ghosts and another type called nearby ghosts. What are distant ghosts? They stay far away from people. What are nearby ghosts? They enjoy being people's ancestors and go to families to become their ancestors. What are distant ghosts called? They are the Kumbandas in the Suragama Mantra. What do Kumbandas look like? They look like a large crock with no head or feet. It is thick and round so that you cannot even see its head or feet. Since it stays far away from people, it does not like to be close to people. Hence, it is called a distant ghost. There is another kind of ghost called Breta, which is also named in the Suragama Mantra. This type of ghost enjoys going into families with ancestral blocks and being the family's ancestor. This type of ghost enjoys being close to people, so they are called nearby ghosts. The heavenly king of the West has a Sanskrit name Visa, which means various languages. He knows how to speak any language. He also has a title called Vast Eyes Heavenly King. He also lists some ghosts. Which ones? They are pizzas that eat essence. It essences. 
They are also insanity ghosts because they make people insane. This type of ghost is people's senses where intercourse occurs. They go to those places who to eat this kind of impurities. If such a ghost make people sick, then people do not know anything but have to stay in an insane asylum. Actually, victims of these ghosts will not be cured easily of this illness even if they were to stay at an insane asylum. The heavenly king of the West also these venomous dragons. You are shot with its poison as soon as it looks at you. You are shot with its poison as soon as you hear its sounds. You are shot with its poison if you have any contact with it. And you are shot with its poison as soon as you smell it. The heavenly king of the West lists these two types of ghosts and spirits. He is in charge of these two. The heavenly king of the north is the leader among the four heavenly kings. The other three heavenly kings must obey his command. The heavenly king of the north also governs ghosts and spirits. Which ghosts? He is in charge of Yaksha ghosts and Raksasha ghosts. There are many types of Yakshas. Some walk on land, some travel in air, some are in the sky. Yakshas are also called speedy ghosts, which means that they run real fast, which is about the same as the speed of light, hence their name speedy ghosts. Rashasha ghosts are scary ghosts they, that they are very evil. The four heavenly kings govern these ghosts and spirits of the world. They go to the heavenly king of the north for meetings. The heavenly king of the north is called Vaina, which means the heavenly king of erudition. Since he knows many things, he, the other three heavenly kings must listen to his order. They will do what he tells them to do. Now these four heavenly kings rose from their seats. Originally, everyone was listening, so the earth stopped sutra together. Now they all get up from their seats. They put their palms together respectfully and said to the Buddha, Word honored one, Earth Star Bodhisattva has been making such great vows as described above from distant ends past until now. Why is it that even now he has not yet finished taking being across? Why does he continue to renew his vast and mighty vows? Please, Word Honored One, explain that for those of us in this assembly. Sutra The Buddha told the four heavenly kings, Excellent, excellent, how to benefit you and to stand that benefit to people and gods of the present and future. I will speak about how Earth Star Bodhisattva, out of compassion and pity, uses expedient devices with the paths of birth and death in Jambu Fipa in the Saha world to rescue, take across, and liberate the beings who are undergoing suffering for their offenses. The four heavenly kings replied, Please, world honored one, we would like to hear about this, his work. Commentary The Buddha told the four heavenly kings, Excellent, excellent requests. Now, to benefit you and to extend that, benefit to people and gods, all beings including those in the house, hungry ghosts and animals of the present and future. I, Shakyamuni Buddha, will speak about how Earth Star Bodhisattva out of compassion and pity uses its spreading devices within the paths of birth and death in the six paths of transmigration. In Jambu Vipa in the Saha world to rescue, take across and liberate all beings who are suffering, who are undergoing suffering for their offenses. He rescues all suffering beings with offenses. The four heavenly kings replied upon hearing Shakyamuni Buddha, Please, world honored one, we would like to hear about his work. Yes, world honored one, we would very much enjoy hearing the Buddha's instructions. 
Sutra, the Buddha told the four heavenly kings from distant ends, passed up to the present. But the Stavuli said that he has been rescuing and liberating beings. Since his vows are still not fulfilled, he continues with compassion and sympathy to help beings suffering for their offenses in this world. Moreover, he sees the silly tangle of their causes extending on through infinite future ends. Because of that, he renews his vows. First, in this hard world, on the continent of Jambudvipa, this Bodhisattva teaches and transforms beings by names of millions and millions of expanding devices. Commentary The Buddha told the four heavenly kings from distant ends passed up to the present. Earth Star Bodhisattva has been rescuing and liberating beings in the six paths. Since his vows are still not fulfilled, he continues with compassion and sympathy to help beings suffering for their offenses in this world. Moreover, he sees the silliest tangle of their causes extending on through infinite future ends. The spreading weeds that grow more and more each day represents our karma that increases in each life the way weeds grow endlessly. Because of that, he renews his vows. Thus, in this hard world, on the continent of Jambudvipa, this Bodhisattva Earth Star teaches and transforms beings by means of millions and billions of expanding devices. The silly tangle is like a bit of karma we create in this lifetime. Then a bit more karma in the next life. Our karmic increases and becomes more serious day by day. Our offense karma is similar to this silly tangle. Since your offense karma becomes heavier each day, your virtuous conduct becomes less each day. We cannot become Buddhas with little or no virtue. We will become ghosts if we have karmic obstructions. How do Buddhas become Buddhas? They are perfected with the myriad virtues. How do ghosts become ghosts? When filled with myriad sorts of evil karma, they become ghosts. Some ignorant individuals claim there are no ghosts, words which are worse than those uttered by children. Children will believe this idea if you explain it. However, people who find ghosts in and spirits incredulous claim there are no ghosts. Without ghosts, there are no Buddhas. Ghosts and Buddhas are two sides of the same coin. Turn it over and it is the Buddha. Let it alone and it is a ghost. People are between being turned and not turned. Were we average, we should just, we would just be people. Were our evil karma more serious, we would become ghosts. Nothing here is to be doubted.